how did I fall in love with jazz? My parents listened to it a lot when they were in the car. I hated it. But there was a moment when I heard Thelonious Monk's music. Walking into my mother and father's bedroom and they were listening to it while watching television. And they were watching footage of a friend of theirs who had died in a plane crash. Like, so this was the news footage, but they weren't listening to the sound from the TV. They were listening to Thelonious Monk play a song called Round Midnight. That was it. It was really clear that anything that I thought about before that moment didn't matter anymore. It was like, I want to do that. I want to play like Thelonious Monk. I want to learn everything about that man, which became the seed that I made this piece called In My Mind, Monk at Town Hall. It starts from that place. Consciously. And I was, you know, like about 13 years old. Ever since then, you know, any little money I got, I would go buy his records. I would scour through my father's record collection and just pull out Thelonious Monk records. And he set the mark for what it was to be a creative musician because he was the first one that I listened to like that. What I thought I heard in Monk's music at that age was its relationship rhythmically to the music I'd already been listening to was a bunch of hip hop. A bunch of bass drums and 808s and, I don't know, snare drums and lyrics. And he had a flow that was unlike any of the other lyricists of that era. Even if, you, if I'm talking about the 40s or I'm talking about the 90s, you know, like he flows unlike anybody else and it's captivating. So I was listening to his flow, and I was listening also as I learned more and more his relationship to history, his relationship to his predecessors, like people like Duke Ellington, James P. Johnson. He kept them fresh in the conversation of who he was as a pianist. So there was never any distinction about where he sat in the pantheon of pianists. It was like, nah, I'm firmly within it, even though you think I'm crazy, but I'm really a part of this tradition. In My Mind is all about my personal relationship with Monk's music. It's through this concert, I also try to look at his personal history at the same time as mine. Because I got this great access to private footage of Thelonious Monk actually rehearsing music for this concert at Town Hall in here in New York. And it's just kind of unfolding that history in front of people, which we don't really necessarily do in concerts. And getting a chance to hear him in privacy, you know, when he doesn't necessarily think there's a microphone recording everything he's doing it's the things he says about his music uh, that are profound and so I expose all of that in this concert <laughs> <laughs> 